You know those people looking for meaning in their lives, so they get up and go volunteer in Africa? I'm Gabrielle, one of those people. So I'm living my life in Ghana, but then I realize the Jewish New Year is just around the corner. And well, the thought of finding another Jew seems impossible. Yo, shalom. In the beginning, I don't know that there are Jewish people even outside. Now, I have been introduced to the world. My dream is to become a full rabbi to my community. My dream is to study Judaism, teach my people, so that they can not forget our tradition, our Judaism, and to better people's life. Nobody knows say Judaism. So, how did Jewish customs make their way here without the Jewish name? I believe the Jews in Ghana are the lost, lost ten tribes of Israel. When you have uh, one of these lost tribes, I think the word lost is the key to it, that you have a break in the chain, and that makes it difficult to authenticate their Jewishness. We are claiming that we're Jewish people. And Jewish people, you cannot be here alone in Ghana and say you are Jewish people, unless you look for your brothers and sisters who are outside there. It's very hard for people to believe that true indeed we are Jew. Judaism is somehow not black. Like last I checked, no one has like a genealogy book in their back pocket, like tracing all the way back like one of the 12 tribes. No one has that. And you're such a small percentage of the population that it's hard to do it on your own. You know, you're going against everybody, everybody and everything out there. So you need other people. I think we were here alone, but now we are all coming together as one people. them understand the Torah and the sense of appreciating and Judas feeling it's such a, a privilege and something that they had to work so hard to get, whereas in this country so many of us have such access and don't even care. There is that feeling of responsibility for other Jews, regardless of labels. And so the notion that there might be somebody in Ghana who's doing Jewish, that's very moving to me. Right? I, I care about that. No matter how many bagels and cream cheese you eat, Purim parties you attend, if you don't live the life, it's very, very difficult to pass it on to the next generation.